Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I figured I'd show you along a normal writing vlog, a normal writing day. I'm actually coming to you now, don't mind the angry cat, <laughs> at 1238 p.m. so it's the afternoon. What you have and haven't seen leading up to here. I did some non-writing work. I went on a run. I went on a run later in the day than I probably should have and I ended up with that reverse mustache situation. And I did two parts of the reading portion of my Ray Bradbury experiment. And so now the rest of the day is my oyster to do with it what I wish. Some general goals that I have. One, I want to try and finish up my short story for this week of the Ray Bradbury experiment and put it on my blog or on my website somewhere. It's the one where I've been playing around with not using any dialogue but still trying to convey um, a lot of feelings and thoughts and uh, if I did it right it will feel quite loud in parts um, and then sort of silent. I'm playing with things I guess is what I'm trying to say. Whether I succeed or not is a totally different thing. <laughs> so that's one. Two, I'd like to get started on the sixth episode of the D&D novelization my brothers and I just played last week for the first time in a hot minute so that might be nice to do. I also have some romance work that I need to take care of so we'll see how many words I get there. And of course I still need to read a short story. I've been working my way through The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. So you can see while I'm doing the experiment it's a mix of what Ray Bradbury actually like prescribes for you to do and just generally other writing work that I already had planned so very fun. And this video is being sponsored by Skillshare so I will be sure to talk about them later on in the video. But now I think it's time to do some writing and actually we might stay exactly where I am now to film <laughs> the bike. It actually works a lot better. I could not get my chair to work um, so this was a quite fun way to do it and get the rainbow bookshelves in the background. <laughs> That might have been a clue if I had done that earlier. And of course, the sausage is in here too. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's a big stretch. Hi. Oh, thank you for my leg. Hi. Have a good nap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gotta give it a kiss. <laughs> no, you stretching too. <laughs> So this is one of those things where without trying too hard, 453 words. <laughs> For the Ray Bradbury experiment, it's like a thousand words, which I went from counting, the last time I seriously counted words um, each day was when I did Mill Wordy for a couple months and then realized that counting was not that fun. However, I'm finding with this one that counting to be like a yes, did you do it? No, did you not do the 1000 words is Actually not too bad, pretty easy. The way I'm keeping track with the experiment as a whole is literally just it within Notion, but which poem I read, which essay I read, so I 
read these two today. I still need to do the short story for the day. And then did I do the 1000 words and did I work on the short story? So you can see I didn't work on the short story for the past couple days, but I did hit my 1000 words and all my other projects combined. Usually it's just the first project or two that I work on that I surpass the 1000 and I say yes. And then I just stop counting for the rest of the day. I'm like, I did it. That's awesome. Yay for me. <laughs> and I have also edited up to that point in the vlog earlier and it is 2 1 p.m. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, cut up some strawberries, strawberries, finish off my podcast and work on my new puzzle. Yes, oh, as you can see, I actually hung up this puzzle because it was giving me wonderfully spooky vibes and I love Maleficent. <laughs> And a couple of y'all asked, so I will be sure to link the puzzle board I got in the description down below. <laughs> this one is a 750 piece that I started last night. It is of New Schwanstein, which I went to what feels like forever ago. Um, so anyways, I like the little bit of leaves turning into kind of like fall foliage, so. I wanted a fall vibe. This is the closest to the puzzle that I currently have. Though I did buy some more, don't judge me. Do I have an entire closet full of stuff? Yes. <laughs> so, let's do it. The sky's done. We have the sky. This stain a little bit is just because I painted the last uh, puzzle while on the board, which probably wouldn't advise, but like it, there's no problem with it. Building, greenish bluish trees, foliage. Then I didn't have anything I needed here as I did the sky, but I'll stretch. And now it's time to shout out the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. For those of you who haven't heard of Skillshare before, they offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics like freelancing, writing, creative writing, design, illustration, being your best self, all sorts of things. One that I'm really enjoying right now, also very topical for what I'm trying to achieve, is writing for online engagement, fiction in a digital world by Rebecca Skye. While her examples often use Wattpad specifically because that's where she sort of like became famous and she posts too often, I'm finding it super useful for helping me with my D&D novelization and just kind of getting used to that serial aspect. One thing I especially loved is that she tried a lot of different sort of posting methods and found that seven to eight days was sort of the sweet spot for updating. I also really love all all the examples she uses for how to engage your audience and get them to sort of participate alongside you. She has several different kind of competitions that she does where people can write one shots based off of her characters and then she'll repost them or using your most dedicated readers names as character names. I also thought it was so fascinating how she got her readers to sort of vote on plot points and write like that. It was all fascinating. <laughs> I got a couple ideas specifically for the D&D novelization that I'm excited to try out, so cannot recommend it enough. I've also really enjoyed taking Make Creativity Your Career six exercises to create a successful side project by Andy J Pizza. I will say part of that love might be because of the visual of eating the pizza through every new lesson. <laughs> I like how it very specifically takes you point by point in the creation process and uses a lot of really fun examples along the way. And because Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, there aren't any ads. And they're always launching new premium classes so that you can stay focused and follow your creativity wherever it takes you. And they're still running their special offer. So the first 1,000 of y'all to click my link down below will get that month free trial and you can start exploring your creativity today. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Ben watches from a place of safety. Yeah, it's been lightning for the past however long. I didn't realize that it actually started raining, which you can't see very well. Um, but the storms are coming. Oh, 
Oh, lightning and thunder. I personally think this means it is time for some mood lighting. I also have some Pocky, and I'm going to go through my patrons. I asked them what their, I've been, <laughs> what their revision process was. So I'm gonna go through here in order to try and come up with some questions so I can make another survey to the whole channel um, asking about revision because I'm very curious. It's the part that a lot of people seem to need more help with. I feel like it's often more confusing and there aren't quite as many resources out there regarding it. Um, a lot of it's like, just get the story on the paper and then you revise and you're done. And you're like, wait a second, no, but what do you mean the then you revise part? So do, 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 do. Anyways, let us attempt, shall we? Can you hear that coming down now? I was saying how it wasn't pouring before, but. Oh uh, yeah, the flooding has begun in the backyard. somewhere over there. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten questions so far. And I have turned to Instagram for some help recently. So we'll see how many responses I get from there and if I can use any of these. Um, yes. <laughs> I've been laying down because my head hurts. It's been hurting all day, but now it's like I've taken medicine for it and it's just gonna do what it's gonna do. Um, I think it's just hours. Mm, so, <laughs> no more work. Uh, I am watching a Sophia video in the background, and I have my warming pad, so the girls are doing their thing and being cute. And I might manage to read the short story tonight. Um, I did manage to get the last of the words, which I'll do an update, but I just, yeah, it's not, it's not happening today, so... This will continue tomorrow, I guess. Ugh, good night. Is it like 5 p.m.? Yes. <laughs> All right, survey done. Posted there in Instagram and I already got 19 responses, so doing good. One thousand one eighty three for the day. So yesterday was my first blank on reading the short story. And I still need to read for the day, but otherwise, doing good. see what this dark lighting does. Dark-ish. While on the stream. And today is the last day for me to get this short story done for my own means. So that is what I'm going to be working on. And the only thing left to do is go live. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. This is what happens when I'm late. <laughs> Early squad. Hello. Hi. Hi. seconds down. Let me know how you guys did. I managed 86 words. <laughs> it was actually more challenging at first than I thought just to get back in it, but once I was, I kind of got a flow. I think the first half of it, I might have not been in the flow, but then after that, I was doing good. Who will be the first to notice or say hi to the vlog? There we go. 
Michaela! <laughs> hello, hello! Okay, so I managed to finish what I would say is like the main draft. I have a few words in caps oh, above that. A few words in caps and a few bits of yellow that I need to fix, but, oh, Mabel spied me. <laughs> but for the most part, outside of still needing to edit it, obviously, I am done and I'm going to give myself the full week to complete this. So today's going to be completing it and then tomorrow I put it in my passion planner that I have to post it to the blog tomorrow. So that's going to be tomorrow's goal, which means that by the time you see this video, I should have done that. So I'll leave a link to it down below. <laughs> this is a fun kind of accountability on this challenge. So, oh, beep, 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 beep. That is time on the final sprint. <laughs> And it is time for my exercise break. Oh. Okay, so that is mostly it for the past two days. And perhaps a better example of how I'm integrating the Ray Bradbury experiment and with like my normal writing. So I do wanna say I have been absolutely loving this pick and Generation Y is probably my favorite one so far, though I quite liked several others. So it's hard to pick a favorite and Really enjoying this one too. And I think for Brothers of the Dragon is my favorite so far, or the one right after it, Three Measures of Time. <sighs> but they're also phenomenal. I will say that the Martian Chronicles hasn't hooked me in the same way that these two have, um, but I've not yet gotten to There Will Come Soft Rain, so I'm committed to finishing it though. And I think the only thing that I didn't technically check off of my list is writing in the D&D &D novelization, but that is the project that, as I was filling out this week's passion planner, I will be focusing on in the back half of the week. So I think it all kind of evens out. <laughs> That's really the game I'm playing with a lot of this stuff as I'm juggling all, all the projects is just like, it evens out over time. If I have a really big day for romance, you know, maybe two days down the line, I won't write in it at all. And so it goes. But please do comment down below. If you're doing the Ray Bradbury experiment too, let me know how you're sort of integrating it into your routine. Let me know if you also like to work from the floor sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why on the rainy day that just felt right. Or let me know the weirdest place you've ever written before. Ooh, yes, let me know that. And also if you have not yet checked out the revision questionnaire, I would love it if you would fill that out. I always love seeing the responses and I think I already have over 400, which is so cool. Um, it's really fun to see all the different graphs. So. Anyways, I'm also curious, and maybe this is a better question for that revision video, but let me know if your revision process changes if you are working on a novel versus a short story versus a poem, if you're someone who works on multiple different types of storytelling methods. I'll also leave a link down below to my website where I'm going to post the short story that I've been working on for the past week. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.